today's video, I'm going to go over my top six racing games ranging from futuristic arcade style simulators and my personal favorite, the heavily Mario Kart influenced games. With over 400,000 downloads, V Speedway is a game to definitely check out. This is free right now. Whenever they do release it, they will be charging, I believe, close to $15 for it. I will be putting this link in the description as well. In this one, you're racing across the city with six different routes. Either take the long way, short way, medium, different ones with a bunch of different corkscrews, however you want to go about it. So you're racing up against 11 other players, not online players yet. Multiplayer will be coming. You're going to be using your car, skills, crashing, drifting, driving, smashing, crashing, or just crash into them. Hope they flip around and block everybody else. I played this one maybe about a year ago and the development has increased a lot. The graphics got a lot better. The game's a lot smoother. This one is free right now, but I've been told that it's not going to be free whenever it does drop in the Oculus Store. This one is practically a virtual version of Mario Kart, which is my personal favorite. This is Dash Dash World. It comes with a ridiculous amount of customizations, which all you gotta do is unlock from just racing. And every time you unlock something, you have this ridiculously overjoyful mechanic thing, friend, whatever it is. What are you? The game has incredible graphics and spot on mechanics. The weapon system supports both defensive and offensive. The reason why I like this one so much is because the tracks are amazing. The dynamics in them is what keeps drawing me back to this game. They offer multiple views that way I can cut back on any of the motion sickness that it may cause. But honestly, I have not felt any of the motion sickness in this particular game. This one is $25, but honestly, this is the closest thing I could find to VR Mario Kart. There is one that rivals it, and that is Touring Cards. This one is rivaled by Dash Dash World, but it lacks in the customization department. However, this game does make up for it by offering a free version exclusively for Oculus Quest 2 in App Lab. Touring Cards offers a unique approach to power-ups. Players can actually craft their own combining two power-ups together, making ridiculously interesting creative weapons. Not only is this offered on VR platforms, this is also offered as a non-VR game. You can download this on your phone and play with people in VR. This is full functional cross support. I'm gonna link the free version in the description. Another game offered on many platforms, including non-VR platforms, is Mini Motor X. This is where small cars deliver a big impact. The environment is that of a tropical island and the game takes you on this miniature racing journey with the crossplay functionality ranging from headset to headset but also from Nintendo Switch to PlayStation 4, Android, iOS, pretty much there in everybody's pocket and on everybody's face. The demo version is limited to single player mode so you can play the whole career mode, the whole story mode and progress all the way through it. The progression of the game is pretty much you going into each track, unlocking additional tracks, earning cash that way you can upgrade your car. As you progress through and get through more tracks, you unlock more cars, and ultimately you're eventually going to have the fastest car offered. For racing wise, you have two different modes. You can do a classic one where it's going to be no weapons, no power ups, no nothing, where it's all relying just on your car. And on the other one is a more Mario Kart style one where you're going to be running around with power ups, weapons, and trying to boost around people and knock them out. Anything with the online multiplayer is going to cost you about $15. This game offers so many different angles. I have never seen these angles before. Honestly, if you can't find anything here that soothes your motion sickness, then you probably don't belong in the headset. With me, I just stuck with the straight first person view because I love VR. This game offers party modes as well, including Bumper Ball, Drop Zone, and Battle Arena. Honestly, Bumper Ball is pretty much Rocket League. So again, this offers cross-platform support with non-VR players as well. So anybody who has friends that don't have VR, this is a way to play with them. The link for the free version is going to be in the description. But again, if you're looking for that multiplayer experience, you're going to have to purchase the game. So maybe you don't want to throw chickens at people. Maybe you don't want to egg people in the face. Maybe you don't want to do a little racing sim or anything like that. You just want gruesome fun, then Death Lap is for you. This one boasts eight player lobbies with six unique characters and cars to choose from. This was actually recorded straight from the Oculus Quest 2. Not only can you hit the road to perform impressive drifts and stunts, but you can also navigate traps, unleash your weapons, and special abilities. So for comfort, you can toggle between two different camera options. You can be in the third person, or you can be in the first person. You can toggle these on the go. For me, I always choose the first person, which whenever you hit jumps, it does go to the third person. That way, you're just not sitting here doing barrel rolls in your headset. This game does cost $20. It is only on the Oculus platform. It's both on Rift and Standalone Quest 2. And the link is in the description if you want to check it out. 
This one is Z-Race. Now, this one takes a unique approach to VR racing by using your controller as the ship. With intuitive controls and motion design, Z-Race offers a racing experience that provides little to no motion sickness. Now, as I was jumping into the demo, I was provided with this error message, but of course, I still wanted to play it, so I just jumped right in, and I was just presented with an infinite loading screen. I'm assuming the demo will be fixed before this video drops, so I didn't want to leave it out because this really looks like an F-Zero style game. The full version of the game is $15 and is offered on both Steam VR and Oculus. However, the demo is only available on App Lab, not on Steam. And that's a wrap. Let me know which race games you are looking into, and as always, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out till then.